I'm Evan Thomason for This Week in Santa Clarita. Right now I'm standing at the site of the dedication for the Rada property named after its former owner, George Rada. The city acquired this property back in October of 2010, bringing nearly 243 acres into public ownership. Community members and dignitaries came together for the dedication of this critical portion of open space for the region. Mayor Lorraine West talked about the significance of the property and some of the efforts that helped acquire it. Well, we're dedicating an amazing 243 acres of permanent open space. It's just part of our uh, commitment to our uh, green belt around the city of Santa Cruz and the interconnection of what we call the CAP area, conservation area, planning uh, uh, partnership which will uh, reconnect the Angeles National Forest and this is huge uh, for future generations. Director of Parks, Recreation and Community Services talked about the significance of the property. We started uh, with Mr. Rod about four years ago and we really thought we had a deal in place because we had the open space district money as well as uh, money we thought from the state of California but when the state budget crisis hit everything slowed down the grants were put on hold so there's been a lot of patience on both Mr. Rod's end and on uh, our end and the Aguadulce Partners end to get this acquisition closed but we're thrilled we're here today 240 acres in a critical part of the state of California and we couldn't be happier. Paul Edelman of the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy talked about the partnerships that allowed the acquisition to happen. It's the first big bulk per purchase that positions uh, public ownership near the undercrossing uh, at Agua Dulce underneath the 14 and the Bee Canyon undercrossing which is really the key to connect the two big mountain ranges, the Sierra Polona and the San Gabriels. Prior to that we've really been getting you know, 100 acres here, 5 acres, 10 acres, kind of scattershot this is a big footprint to grow from. In and of itself, it's just got the most incredible juniper woodland that you've ever seen. It's never burned. When I, we did the research to do the ground, I went up through here, the incredibly interesting plant communities. And this is interesting how this took a life of its own in the sense that both the, uh, the SCORCA, the Joint Powers Authority between the Conservancy and the city, and the city put in money to hire consultants to start to look at this area. And having that, that consultant group there to do the planning, bring the, bring the people together, uh, sign up the landowner through the uh, Riverside Land Conservancy did that was was key. Yeah, if you know, if, as you look at this land, this land sits astride uh, an area known as the Cap, and it's really a connection between the Angeles National Forest on the south and the Angeles National Forest on the north. The Sierra Polona Mountains and the San Gabriels were never connected as this uh, as a contiguous forest. As we buy land in this area as public land, we're going to be able to connect the two forests. It's critical for a lot of reasons. It's a wildlife connection. It allows fabulous recreational opportunities, and it's also a growth limit for the city of Santa Clarita and I think ensures the rural lifestyle out here in the Agua Dulce area. But this is this is an amazing day. It's beautiful property. It, it is part of our goal and we are so proud of George Rada for uh, working with the city and, and practically gifting the land. I mean he is a very generous man. He's apparently donated an enormous amounts of land and, and really could have sold this to us for much more money and we're so excited about this day. That's it from the dedication of the newly acquired 243-acre Rada property in Agua Dulce. Uh, this property is located off of Agua Dulce Canyon Road off the 14 freeway. For this week in Santa Clarita, I'm Evan Thomason.